Are you curious how dog friendly Fort Walton Beach is? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Let's get into it. What is going on? It is Andrew with the Emerald Group right here in Fort Walton Beach. If you're trying to find out everything there is to know about Fort Walton Beach and the surrounding areas, you've come to the right channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so that you'll be notified every single time we do a new video. Honestly, we get so many text calls and emails all the time of people wanting to move right here to our area. If that sounds like you, go ahead and reach out to us any way possible. You can comment down below, call, text, email, all my information is on the screen. We'd love to help when the time is right. We all love our little four-legged friends here, and it seems like over the years, more and more cities and businesses have been getting more and more dog-friendly, which is great. We can take our little fur babies with us everywhere we go, and Fort Walton Beach is no different. Now, you can't bring them everywhere, but there are a lot of dog-friendly areas right here in Fort Walton. Let's get into them. First and foremost, this isn't an actual activity you can do with your dog here in town, but it is something that you could bring your dog to. There's lots of boarding options, lots of doggy daycare. I kid you not, doggy daycare. I didn't believe that was a thing when I first heard it but it actually is you take your pup over there they've got uh, a lot of the facilities have cameras and things like that so you can watch your pup play they'll take them out we've got one uh, the canine discovery center right here that I've personally taken my little ankle biter to she always seems to have a good time they have structured play time with similar sized dogs so that nobody's getting run over and things like that they even have nap time and so you, you take them over there you can get them groomed get them all cleaned up let them run around and exhaust all their energy for the night you've got that option you don't it, it could be all day you can actually board them over night if you wanted to do that and it gives them a little bit more freedom. Now that's not the only spot in town that does it. It is just the only one I've got personal experience with and Miss Layla here always seems to really enjoy it. All right first and foremost as activities you can actually do with your pup is parks okay. Now parks are generally dog friendly anyway. We've got some that are leash only. We've also got some that are you can know, take them off leash. They've got in fences and things like that. We've got a couple in particular. We did a standalone video on a couple of these parks. If you want to see more details go ahead and go there. I'll show a little bit of it here but for the most part if you want to get a little bit deeper of a dive you can go check out those other videos so we've got Liza Jackson Park this is a great one it's got uh, several different park areas pavilions things like that but namely for the pups it's got two different areas a big and a small um, leash free area for the dogs to run around in so that the smaller ones don't get run over by the bigger ones and so they're playing with dogs their size on top of that Liza Jackson Park has one very nice feature that a lot of the other parks do not and that is that they actually have a beach now it's not golf front per se but it is right there on the water and they do have sand out there for the dogs to run around in and they can go in the water and they can enjoy a little bit of that and throw balls and leash free and all that stuff if you'd like you've definitely got that option there's also another park a little bit north of town in Garnier Beach that one's also waterfront it's going to be on the bay though instead of on the sound you're also more than welcome to bring your pup at most of the parks here in the area one of those is Ferry Park we've done a video on that but this is a pretty big park you can kind of bring your pup wherever as long as it's on a leash so if you wanted to take them out disc golfing or just walking around the park in general you've got that option. Fort Walton Beach also has multiple stores that are centered around our four-legged friends. One of those stores is Petland which is on the west side of town. We've also got the pet supermarket right here in Uptown Station so you can bring your four-legged friend there. They do adoption events there all the time. They've got fresh food for the dogs, fresh treats for them. They can pick out toys and all of that good stuff. And one of my favorite stores to take my little pup to is is three dogs and a chick right here in downtown Fort Walton. You can bring your pup in. You're always sure to make a friend there as all the dogs are always sniffing each other, having a good time. You've got lots of toys, lots of treats, fresh baked goods for the dogs, and they've got a lot of healthy options that I really, really like for my pup. And it's just an overall really great atmosphere and they're always there to help you. You've also got nature trails and hiking and other things you can do with your pup. One of those is the Oak Tree Nature Trail, which is about a mile of different trails and they've got trash cans scattered all over. So if your dog does, um, you know, does his business or her business. You can pick it up, toss it right in the garbage, keeps it nice and clean, gives your dog a little bit of option there. If you'd like more nature trails, we've got them scattered all over out on the ranges here. So you would have to get a pass through the Jackson Guard in most situations. If you're going to take them on those, we've got Timber Lake up in North Fort Walton. It has about 33, 32 miles, something like that of different hikes or hiking trails, biking trails. You'll see bikers. You'll see a little bit of everybody there. For the most part, you'll be by yourself. So just make sure you're, you're kind of being safe. Cell service out there is a little 
little iffy, but you can definitely bring your pup. Just know that this is a live nature area. You will see bears and snakes and things like that. Oh, and another great thing to do outside with your pup is you can actually bring them to the Air Armament Museum, which again, we did another video on. Great video, you can kind of see most of the outside stuff. Your dog is gonna have to stay outside on a leash though, but they do have enough that you can go out there and kind of enjoy all the different aircraft they've got from helicopters to planes. They've got little plaques there too, so that you can kind of see the history of them. So if you're a history buff, but you also love spending time with your pup, this is definitely a great option. Now let's slide on over to downtown Fort Walton, which seems to be very heavily centered around dogs because there are a lot of different restaurants and options for you to bring your pup. Not only do they have the food truck area that has three or four or five food trucks, something like that at all times, you can always bring your pup there. It's all outside seating. You've also got the actual center of downtown where you can bring your dog to a lot of the locations there. One of those restaurants is called The Cowhead. It is a burger joint. They've got a back patio that you can bring your pup to. I've never eaten there personally, but I've heard really good things I need to get over there. I've heard the burgers over there are generally pretty good. I've just never personally tried them. You can also take your pup right across the street to Fokker's Pub, and that's F-O-K-K-E-R-S. Don't think that I'm saying anything uh, bad, but they've got German food and oven brick pizzas, which are pretty good. Their wings are also very good, but you can sit outside there, uh, have yourself a nice uh, cold beer, if that's what you're into, water, whatever, get some good food. They've got a lot of great options. Then you've got Casey's Sandbar and Grill. Casey's is a really good spot. The atmosphere there is always buzzing. It's always really, really, really popular. You can bring your dog. They've got sand out there, so it feels like a beach bar, even though you're not actually on the water, which is pretty cool. And there's several different uh, restaurants and uh, other options for food and things like that just around Casey's. The overall atmosphere at Casey's is great. Just keep in mind that if you are going to bring your cute puppy dog there, you're going to spend a little extra time there. People are going to want to, you know, say hi, not to you, just to the pup and want to maybe even sneak in a pet or two. So just know that going into it, that if your dog is not friendly with other people, this is going to be a busier time, particularly if you go at night. Uh, you can also go there for food, which is generally pretty good. I think I've only eaten there like once or twice, but every time I do, the food is pretty good. Head down the road just a little bit and you've got the boardroom, which is one of my personal favorites. I don't get out there very often, but they've got a great atmosphere, a great outside area to kind of sit with. There's almost always somebody with a dog out there already. So if you bring your pup, you might have yourself a friend. This isn't technically downtown Fort Walton, but there is a restaurant right down the road called The Shack that I just recently went to uh, for the first time and it was great. I really liked it. Had an outside area, dog friendly. They had live music when I was there. Great, great food. It's right on the right on the uh, sound. So you've got beautiful views everywhere. And if you're out there, if you like alcoholic beverages, they've got a really good cucumber drink that I was really surprised at because it's not my thing normally, but it was very refreshing. Head north just a little bit and you'll have Tijuana Flats, which is pretty popular here in my office just because it's a couple of streets down from us. And it's also dog friendly. It's got really good food, typically like burritos, quesadillas, tacos, and it's got a great atmosphere. And the best part is their customer service is outstanding. Another great place with a view is called the Gulf. It's actually on Okaloosa Island, which is still part of Fort Walton Beach, but you would have to cross the bridge. You can bring your pup over there. It's right there on the water. They've got lots of different seating. They've got options for them to run around. They're very dog friendly. Their bar is outside. They've also got an inside bar in case it's not your thing and an outside grill area where all the food is cooked inside and then they bring it out to you. Beautiful views. You can see the boats come in and out, the barges every once in a while when they come in and out, which is pretty cool to watch. Oh, and if you're out on the water all day, this is one of those spots you can actually park your boat right up there, take your dog, come on inside, grab some food and jump back out on the water. Now, I'd be silly not to mention any of the dog centric rules here in the area when it comes to housing, because of course, this is a real estate company first. So let's go into a couple of those. First and foremost, rentals in our area are pretty hard to get into whenever you've got a pup. A lot of management companies don't want to deal with them. A lot of owners don't want to deal with them. And when they do, they typically have a size limit. So something like this little girl would generally be fine for a lot of them. But if you've got a larger dog or a breed that's not exactly generally friendly to the public, even though I know, I know, I, I think it's how they're raised. But if you do have one of those, you might have trouble finding a rental. You're not going to have this issue when you purchase, of course, because you're going to own it outright. And there are very, very few neighborhoods or areas that are restricting them here in Fort Walton Beach. In fact, I don't know of any outside of condo complexes. And even the ones that I know that are in condos that have restrictions, they generally don't have restrictions for owners, just for guests. Now, if you're coming out here to vacation or something like that, you're definitely going to have limitations. So you would have to find dog friendly condos or houses to rent 
whenever you're out here. If of course you're taking your pup. One of the most common questions we do get is can I bring my dog to the beach? And not really. So in Okaloosa there is ordinance for safety purposes to keep dogs off the beach. That is not necessarily the case for Walton County right next to us. They do have some ordinances that allow dogs on the beach, but that's for a different video. So here, no, we can't really bring them to the beach or at least not the Gulf of Mexico. But as I mentioned before, there are two parks that are on the water that will give them the same kind of feel. And to be honest, the dog's not going to know any different. Well, that is just about everything I could think of regarding the pups out here in Fort Walton Beach. So if you have a dog, it is very dog friendly. Just be sure that you're bringing your pup whenever it's appropriate, whenever it is allowed. And other than that, that's really all I could think of. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click that like button if this helped even a little bit. It really helps us out. I appreciate it. And as I mentioned before in the video, if you are planning on moving down here anytime in the future, go ahead and reach out to us. We'd love to help. See ya. Say bye, Layla. Bye. Bye. <laughs>